All right, so this is Andy. I'm out here working on the stopper tonight. Uh, last wheeling adventure, I blew apart something in the back axle. Wasn't sure what. Just knew that no matter what I did, I didn't have any power at the rear end. So um, was able to get it on the trailer and four wheel drive. And then I've been working on my barn for like three weeks. So um, just finally got the barn done and pulling the stomper back in is my first big project. And trying to get to uh, work on figuring out what the issue was. So I pulled it in, pulled off the rear wheels, uh, pulled the axle shafts out, and we're just trying to determine my uh, major faux pas here in the back end. So um, let me see if I can flip this camera around and uh, we'll show you guys what's going on here. So uh, you can see we got the drain buckets going. I've got the third member pulled out now. Uh, we pulled the axle shafts out. Um, left the brake line connected on the driver's side hub. On the passenger side hub, we disconnected the brake line. Um, that way we only got to bleed to one side and just unhook the brake line from the bracket there on the top of the axle. Um, so kind of get that out of the way temporarily. Uh, we had a little scare here a minute ago while we had this thing up in the air working on it. The passenger side leaf spring broke here at the front edge. So um, new problems to address, gotta love it. Always fun working on trucks. So we pulled the third member out of the back end and what do I see but a whole bunch of sweet broken metal chunks. And apparently what happened was um, the spider gears failed uh, where I had welded the differential before in the back end. So um, I thought, oh cool, no big deal. I can just, uh, you know, Weld some plates in there to the old spider gears and get her going again, but no, there's chunks missing on the ring gear. So it'll be time to uh, rebuild this one with a, a spool and a new set of 529s. In the meantime, we're gonna swap in the, uh, the differential that I had pulled out of the front axle, which I've been saving off to the side, which is a, a Detroit, true track in 529 so if I can get this bucket open one handed here um, we're gonna swap in swap in this third member um, so hopefully the true track with a good 529s will will get me through for some winter wheeling and we'll uh, we'll build up that other third member to shelf for now put it back in when spring comes around and we're ready to get back into the rock stuff. So do a little follow up later. Thanks.